Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. I am running my SSIS package for debugging or troubleshooting and I do not want to load the data into any destination. Which transformation can I use to ensure that the data, the, that the data doesn't go anywhere? That means that is not loaded to any table or flat file or anything. So how I can replace those destinations with some transformation and test my SSIS package. So let's go to SSDT or bids or whatever we have and take a look. First of all, we are talking about loading the data. So we have to use a data flow task. Inside the data flow task, what we are going to use here, I'm going to read some data from OLEDB source uh, and point to the my SQL Server table. Let me get the OLEDB source. Excuse me. So here I'm going to read the data from customer table that I have and that has some columns called first name, last name, address and all that. Now here let's suppose that when uh, this package was running production or QA or UAT there was some destination where we were loading the data. Now for the test purpose I do not want to load that data into any destination and there was tons of other transformations were here. So I wanted to see the data at different points. So I, I don't want to load the data in destination but there are other transformation. I just want to replace my destination with some kind of transformation so I can test the data during different transformation. Let me put a couple of transformations here. Think about that we have a data conversion, we have a drive column and all different transformations we have meanwhile and at the end we had um, the destination that we have removed uh, for now. So right here we, we don't we want to test uh, the data at different points maybe here and here and here and uh, after that our destination is here but I have removed the destination for the test purpose so I don't want to write the data to any destination. I can use multiple transformations uh, to test that uh, uh, scenario. First of all I can use multicast here instead of a destination as I can connect uh, any transformation to the multicast uh, and multicast doesn't need to have uh, the output. Uh, so right now it is reading the data yeah it is so it is going to give the data to multicast and that's it. So we can put data viewer here and then uh, test the data to the last point uh, okay what it is writing to our destination. The multicast will be used here as a for test purpose so, so we can implement uh, the data viewer here. The other transformation uh, that I can use uh, is the drive column. I can use the drive column here for test purpose uh, and it doesn't have to have output. Uh, so when I run my SSIS package uh, it will uh, complete. Uh, let me put data viewer here. Let's run our SSIS package. And we will see the data as in the data viewer. And as you can see that there are multiple transformation and uh, they pass through and we can see see the data is coming and all the way we didn't write to any destination and we were able to see the data in the data viewer. Next part uh, we can also use uh, the row count transformation here but for the row count we have to create some variable. In that case uh, first we have to create a variable and then uh, use the row count uh, for the test purpose. So there are multiple options we have if we do not want to write the data to our destination but just want to take a look uh, by using the data viewer we can use multicast, we can use drive column or we can use row number um, um, row count transformation uh, for the test purpose and implement our data viewer between them and that's how we can test the, the uh, our uh, package at different points and see the data by implementing data viewers between the transformations uh, if uh, there is any errors happening or, or there is some logic is not working so we can take a look. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.